Hello students, how are you all? Hope so, you all are fine and fit at home. So kids, today we are going to learn about the domestic animals and wild animals. It's a very interesting topic. Okay, so in our last class what we have learned? Yes, we learned about food chain. Right, in that we saw, we learned that how animals and plants interdepend on each other. In the food chain, it starts with the plant because animals, we saw three types of animals, herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. Herbivorous animals consume plants and the plants product, right? And carnivorous what? They consume the herbivorous animals. Omnivorous consumes both herbivorous as well as the carnivorous animals. This is what we have learned, right? Through examples and through videos we have learned in our last class. The plant is called as a producer because it makes their own food. That plant is eaten by any animals. Take an example of the deer, right? The deer consumes the grass which is a plant, okay? Then what happened? The deer in return it is eaten by any wild animals. Any animals like a tiger or lion. Clear what I mean? In short, the lion or tiger, whatever it may be, they were interdependent on the, indirectly they were dependent on the plants. If plants were not there, the deer was not there. If deer was not there, the lion can't live. Clear? So this is called as a, this process we called as a food chain. Understood? Today, we will learn about the wild animals and the domestic animals. It's very important topic. Now, well kids, in the screen, are you able to see animals? Well, what are they named them? Good. Lion, sheep and cow. Now kids tell me, what were all the animals useful to you? Very good. Like cow, you know, cow gives us milk and many dairy products were well prepared were made from through the milk like we love cheese butter ghee these all were prepared curd these all comes from the cow milk right and uh, how about uh, sheep tell me sheep how sheep helpful to us yes sheep gives us wool right we can take any other examples also like dog is there Dog also helpful to us. Tell me how it guards our home. Hen, it gives us uh, egg and people eat in the form of a meat also. Right? Like that, in the screen, uh, you have seen there were some animals which were helpful in our day-to-day -day life. Clear? So, the, uh, the animals were categorized into two ways. One is wild animals and another one is the Domestic animals. The word itself say wild. They be they used to live in the jungle. They search for food. Sometimes they were uh, harmful to us also. They attack us. They hunt us. Okay, and that's why they were they live in jungle. Okay, so the wild animals lives in jungle and they search for their food. They hunt other animals. Whereas domestic animals they live with us clear and those animals were helpful to us in many ways like you we have learned the dog helpful to us hen helpful to us cow helpful to us um there are like a uh, sheep helpful to us so likewise the domestic animals helpful to us in many ways right so we have to take care of our uh, of the domestic animals understood what i said now these domestic animals, uh, like we used to keep domestic animals in our home as a pet animals also. For example, many people having dog at home as, as a pet animals, right? You were also living in the home like the dog is also. Usually dog used to live in a kennel, okay? Now, for example, hen, where it lived, we having a farm for hen, cow in shed like that dog lives in a kennel how you were hungry to live healthy you need a balanced food and in a uh, good food similarly cow also uh, sorry dog also need a healthy food to grow and to stay alive it doesn't mean it is a pet animals so you can give all the wastage and all no 
dog should also teeter in the way how we wet drink girl clear we have to give good food for the growth of the better growth of the healthy growth of the animals second how we are, we itself are keeping ourselves clean and neat similarly dog should also kept clean and neat because it stay with us right every day you are taking bath you are you are keeping yourself clean and neat the same way dog should also kept clean in case if you felt uh, sick what you will do you will go to doctor right similarly sometimes pet animals also feel sick like if you get cough you will go to doctor and you will get medicines when dog will sick ill sick uh, fallen ill what we have to do we have to take dog to the doctor the, and the doctor who treat animals were called as an veterinary doctor come on once again the doctor who treats animals were called veterinary doctor so we have to take the uh, pet animals to the doctor they were the veterinary doctor they treat the animals and they give medicines accordingly clear what i mean to say so this is what today's session so now i am happy i'm going to show you a small video clip which is related to this topic how to take care of our domestic animals clear so please watch the video my dear our pets are friends if you were to choose an animal for a pet which one would you like to bring home with you a dog a cat a rabbit a hamster or a fish pets are animals kept by humans for friendship and fun some common pets that we can see around us include dogs cats fishes rabbits and others like human beings all pets need a place to live in a dog lives in a kennel it plays with you and also fetches your toy for you it guards your home while you are away at school fishes are kept in aquariums oh what joy it is to watch these fishes swim did you know what a rabbit's home is called it's called a hutch Just like you need food to grow, your pets also need good food and clean water to grow strong and be healthy. Doesn't your mom help you keep your room clean and tidy? In the same way, you should keep your pets and their homes clean and neat. Oh, oh I don't feel too well today. Mom will take me to the doctor. Just like you, your pet may also fall ill sometimes. You should immediately take your pet to the doctor. Did you know that a doctor who treats animals is called a veterinary doctor? How do you feel when your mum gives you a warm hug? Good, huh? In the same way, your pets feel good when you love them. It keeps your pets healthy and strong. So kids did you watch the video what you have learned in the video yes we learned how to take care of our pet animal that is the domestic animals clear my dear so in short domestic animal should be taken care properly else sometimes the disease which comes to animals might cause harmful to human beings also clear so now i request you to open the mypedia app come to chapter number 3 uh, the last page you can see domestic in the screen also you can see here domestic animals and wild animals animals can be divided into two categories that is a wild and the domestic animals now wild animals such as lion tiger deer zebra live in the jungle and they search for their food while as domestic animals dog cat horse donkey they live with us and they are useful to us they do not have to search for their food as we human human provide food to them understood now let's see some examples how domestic animals helpful to us like hen gives us egg sheep gives us wool 
cow gives us milk and variety of products were made from the milk right like a curd cheese etc horse donkey elephant they also useful to us in carrying the goods from one place to another dog very important in guard our home domestic animals do so much for us it is our duty to give them proper food shelter and care the shelter should always be clean we should take them to a veterinary doctor whenever they are sick so what are veterinary doctors underline that and in the right corner you can see a doctor who treats sick and injured animals were called as a domestic animals so kids before i wind up let's have a quick recap what we have learned today so today we learned dear there are two types of animals wild and domestic animals wild animals lives in the jungle whereas domestic animals lives with us it is our duty to take care of the domestic animals it useful to us in many ways like for example we saw about the hen gives us egg horse donkey helps to carry the goods from one place to another cows gives us milk and variety of products we get from the milk right dog guards our home likewise there are many animals domestic animals which were useful to us in our day to day life right we learn to a video how to take care of the of the pet animals when our animals when our animals were sick we have to take them to the veterinary doctor the doctor who treats animals were called as an veterinary doctor so as usual kids i used to give you a task today's task is very easy in the screen you can see there were some there were two uh, uh, points were there in the first point you can see the zebra lion elephant and giraffe you have to find out the odd one and you have to re- write one uh, suitable reasons for to them the second one also you can see there were some animals we have to write from we have to point out the odd one and give one reason clear clear what i said so kids with these a chapter gets over third chapter gets over there are many activities involved when you come to school we will do all the fun activity clear in our next class uh, we'll have a quick recap okay kids please go through all the videos of chapter 3 till then bye bye